Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman. We are back with our monthly sponsored video from Plex. And one of the things that we've been covering in this series quite a bit is the roadmap that Plex laid out for the personal media server a few months ago. One of the big changes has already happened, which is the new mobile app, but they're also working on a new TV app that I covered last year. It's still in beta. There's no announcement yet as to when the beta is going to become the mainline app, but they're still working on it. And one of the other things they talked about in the roadmap was taking music and photos out of the mainline Plex app and having them live in their own apps. So now, of course, we have the Photos app on mobile, and then we've also had Plex Amp, which is a great music player that Plex developed. And their plan initially was to have Plex Amp be the music player and Photos be the photo player. But there's been a lot of pushback. And the other day, Plex on their forums announced a new Roku preview that will be uh, on Roku only at the moment, but it will soon make its way to other platforms. And what they're doing is putting music and photos back in the app after all of the feedback that they received. So they said here that they are listening and learning. So starting today, the new experience preview for Roku will bring back support for music and photo libraries. It also means that other Plex apps will regain this functionality as well. They don't have a timeline to share yet, but they will provide more information in the future. But Plex Amp and Plex Photos will continue as their own standalone apps, but you will get the functionality back in the mainline app. And right now the Roku preview is where that testing is beginning. Now these new Plex apps are running on the same architecture, so once they get it fleshed out on one device, it can get rolled out to the other ones a bit easier, and that's part of their reason for why they want to move over to this new app platform. So what we're going to look at today is how they're envisioning music and photos getting integrated into the new TV preview app here, and this should give you a good idea as to how things work. I'll give you some instructions as to how you can get it running on your Roku, and if you don't have a Roku, you can see how it works here. They have a forum set up for the preview experience, and it is being actively monitored by the Plex staff. So if you have suggestions or comments, head over there. I'll put the links in the video description so you can add your thoughts to the mix and get your opinion heard by the team. You can, of course, leave comments down below, but they'll be more productive over on the forum. I'm trying to do my best here to keep you all informed as to what uh, is going on here with the beta development of the new TV app. Now, I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, they did not review or approve what you're about to see before it was uploaded, and all opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get into it now and see what this new integration is looking like. Now, if you're interested in installing this on your Roku, there are instructions on this Plex forum post. Again, I'll put links to everything in the video description. And so what you do is scroll down to this last section here where they've got a link back to Roku. Now what I would suggest you do is log into your Roku account on your web browser first, then jump over to this forum post and click on the link. And what this will do is give you a filled in access code. You click on add app and the preview app will then get added to your Roku devices. It will not overwrite the current app it's a separate one, so you don't have to worry about losing access to the current app if you like how it's working for you. So you can keep both on at the same time and play with both on your Roku. Now, as you'll see here, I selected my libraries on the TV app. By the way, if you're curious about how the new TV app is coming together, you can see the video that I did on it in the video description as well. Now, before, when we looked at the TV app, we didn't see my music or my photos library accessible to us because it wasn't supporting music or photos. Now on the preview, at least on Roku, it is. And so we've got pretty much the same functionality that you typically see on the current app where you've got your recommendation screen here. You can dive into an individual artist and get the uh, landing page along with the popular tracks. And if we start playing a song here, I don't have the audio on for copyright reasons. It will start playing the song. You've got your waveform here. You also have access to lyrics, so all the basic features here are working. And of course, you can follow your favorite songs along here as things play back. Now, if your device supports lossless audio, it'll pass the lossless audio right through. If it doesn't, your Plex server will transcode to something that your device can support. And this was one of the big reasons why people were upset about music disappearing from the TV app. A lot of folks listen to lossless audio through Plex because their TV boxers are wired right into 
their stereo system. So here you've got the ability to get that back now in the current beta of the Plex application. So in addition to the recommendations, if you go over to the left-hand side here, you can browse all of the artists in your library. I have very slowly been digitizing or ripping all of the music I have on CD from when I was a kid and, and young adult. So we're slowly adding to my library every day with more lossless audio. So I've got quite an eclectic collection here. I got a lot of my wife's uh, CDs in here as well. Uh, your collections show up on here and your playlists show up as well. So everything that you're using on your current system is going to be here uh, because it is supporting a bulk of the basic features at the moment. So that is what uh, music is looking like. All right, let's take a look and see how Photos is coming along. So far, I think they've captured most of the features that are in the mainline app. So when you jump in, you've got your recommendations here. I can click on a photo and browse through them based on the recommendations. So these are my most recent photos that have been added. It also supports video playback as well, so you can mix photos and videos in your albums. It will transcode if it needs to, depending on the platform. And one of the strengths of Plex Photos is that it's been a great way to share photos with friends across just about every platform. So you get all that basic functionality back here, so that was good to see. And again, we were in the recommended section. You can go in and browse, and the way Plex Photos works is that you organize things by folders to get yourself an album. So I created this folder called Space Stuff with all my space and aviation pictures in there. And as you can see, they're all in there, and I can browse through them in the order that they're on the uh, disk there. So you've got that as an option, so that seems to be working. Now, another thing that Plex lets you do in Photos is create a slideshow using their playlist feature that appears to have made its way over here as well. So if I go over to Playlists, I can select this one that I created, and here's all the pictures in there. I can play it and just have it run in order. I can shuffle it, so you've got all that functionality from before. The only thing that doesn't appear to be working right now is the ability to reorganize the, the order of photos. So for example, if I try to move photo five here up to the top, it doesn't actually go. Um, so that's been the only thing that I've noticed so far. But other than that, uh, the feature set looks to be pretty complete versus the existing TV app. So it appears as though uh, we will get the music and photos features that we had before into the new app now but you'll still have the option of using the standalone apps, which of course is Plex Amp for music and the Photos app for photos. But if you are doing a lot of photo or music on your TV now, they are now putting them back in the app so you don't lose that functionality and you can continue to do everything through a single application on your TV box. So there you go, photos and music are coming back to the new TV preview app. Right now, this is only on Roku, but it will make its way to the other platform shortly. If you don't have a Roku, hopefully this was helpful. And if you do, you can follow the link in the video description to try it out for yourself. If you've got a larger library, it might be good for the Plex team to hear about how that's working for you. Now, again, if you've got comments to share, head over to that forum that I linked in the video description as well. And I wanna show you some good feedback and how this can really help the team out. So this post came in from uh, Jean Francois, it looks like, a Plex user who's a Plex Pass holder, and he talked about all the things that were working great for him and the things that were not. And as you can see here, this is the kind of feedback that the team can really find helpful because it's also important to know if there's things that you like about the interface to let them know about so that they don't change it. And if there are things that aren't, talk about that too. So the forum will be monitored by Plex employees. I know they're in there all the time and they really do care about what users think. They put a lot of love into the personal media side of the product and I know they want to hear from you. That will do it for this one. And until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching.